Welcome back to Access Peel. A campaign was recently held to make the community aware of youth violence. Rachel was there and brings us this story. An awareness campaign for youth violence was held at Shoppers World by CSW students from Medic School, a dedicated group who truly must have faced this school project. Being a singer, you know, like we give a message, you know, of peace and love. Uh -huh. And being a CSW program, it will also help us, you know, to stop violence in, in, in our city, Brampton, Ontario, and all over Canada. So I will be the, giving this message also in my concerts and uh, through this program, CSW, as we are doing the awareness that we should stop that. There has been lots of stories that I've heard in the news for the past couple of months. There's been lots of violence among youths, uh, not only in schools but also in the community. So that's why we're here to raise awareness for this program because there's a lot of people out there who are not aware of it and they just brush it off. But trust me, it is something very serious. Right. So what was your part in terms of organization for this whole day or week? Well, my part was just to talk to people, find out how much they really know about youth violence and educate them some more. It is something on my heart. It's, it's, I love kids. And when I see them dropping, they dying, I, it's sad, it's sad in me. It really does. And I'm trying to ask a parent, when you see something, don't just stand there and look, oh, it's not my child. It is your child. We even have as, kids as young as 11 that's talking about youth violence. And what they said on the survey, it was like, wow. Now, something's happening. What can we do? What can the, the, the big person, the, um, the, P, the prime minister, what can the local governments do? What can we do? It, we, we have to do something. The importance about speaking up about the issue, regardless of age, was stressed throughout the campaign. The police need our help. So if we, and even the younger ones like 11, 12, 17, 16, 18, they need to speak up because they know what's going on. And if you talk to the high school students, they go, well, we saw this and we know this and that. Okay, who are you speaking to? We have to help them to speak to somebody and not only speak to them, know that they're not going to get in trouble when they do that. I'm here with Wafa and Gurja, two students from the medic school in Brampton. So both of you here today with your group, uh, is there anything personal that you feel connected to the youth balance? Yes, because uh, we are also having kids and uh, after uh, hearing so many news that what is going on in our society and uh, we are really concerned about it because kids are base of the society. So we really want to start with the kids to stop the violence and uh, we wish parents and uh, kids will work together to, uh, to really uh, get good and uh, safe, safety in our society. Perfect. And in terms of what you did, um, in terms uh, with the whole organization, what were you doing? Uh, basically, I did the same job as my um, other colleagues did. So we ask uh, simple questions. We um, ask them, what do you think about youth violence? We got a lot of answers. And as you see the sheet, we saw before that um, this is our survey. Basically, it's normal questions to everybody, easy to answer. Um, however, as everybody knows, that youth violence has been going on for so long. Right. However, it's increased lately. The only thing I, will, I want to say today is one hand can't clap, but two they can. So please, please do something about it. We can't stop it forever. However, we can at least decrease it. For more information about the youth violence campaign, please visit www.medicschool.ca. In Brampton, Rachel Lee, Access PO. Break the silence, stop youth violence! Hassan recently got to attend the Flair bartending competition at Jack Astor's. Let's take a look. Some of the best bartenders in the world. Are